to bring out this big red button on my count from Five Glasgow. We're going to count it in, and the lovely Jenny is going to press this button. Start today's finals. I feel like a Bond villain now, actually. I love it. From with me, Glasgow. You ready? Five!
Next up, please welcome the 2014 World Championship Silver winners. They are the People's Republic of China. Chen Xi, Balancing Gold Medalist in the Asian Championships, Fan Yaming, Mao Di, Shang Chunsong, Tan Xiaoxin, Wang Yan, and Xu Xiaofang. Please welcome the People's Republic of China. And now, please welcome the reigning world and Olympic team champions, the United States of America. Welcome to the 46th World Gymnastics Championships here in the Hydro in Glasgow. The stage is set and the gymnasts are ready. It is the women's team final this evening. We've had four days of qualifications. This is the biggest world championships ever, represented by so many nations, 87 countries here, and a record 575 gymnasts. Absolutely superb. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. So there you can see up there the women's team final. We've got the United States, Russian Federation, Great Britain, China, Italy, Japan, Canada and the Netherlands. And of course these are the countries that have gained qualification directly to the Rio Olympics next year. Obviously, this competition has been the qualifier for next year's uh, 2016 Games. With the top eight teams and any individual apparatus medal winner, providing they haven't already qualified for a team, going to Rio. So you can see there the start list on vault. We've got Gabrielle Douglas, Margaret Nichols and Simone Biles of the USA in this first rotation. And there we have the team from Great Britain. We've got Ruby Harold, Ellie Downey, and Rebecca Downey on uneven bars. On the beam, it's Lara Mori, Ines Mariani, and Carlito Filuto. Carlotta Felito, representing Team Italy, just warming up there. And for Canada, who will be taking to the floor in this first rotation, it's Audrey Russo, Isabella Onshenko, and Elizabeth Black. And 
There you can see Simone Biles of the USA, the reigning world champion. She'll be looking to do the same here in Glasgow. Also on the team there, Gabby Douglas, the reigning Olympic champion from Isn't London nice. 2012. And starting here on vault, it is Gabby Douglas of the USA. Double there for Gabrielle Douglas, the Olympic champion reigning, and a really great start and secure vault there for her. See the run up approach there, hits it, and great landing. Yuchenko entry. In for the double and straight down. So over to uneven bars. And it's Ruby Harold taken to the uneven bars first. Half turn there in the shaft, difficult combination. Toe on there, half turn with a big release there. Dismount to go. Double front. Great job from Ruby Harold. The score for Gabrielle Douglas of the United States is 15.233. Good solid start for Team USA. So next up, it's Maggie Nichols here. Can she do it? She does. It's the Yuchenko two and a half twist, the Anima. Great stuff from Maggie Nichols. Just look at this powerful run approach on the two and a half twist and good landing there. Well, Team USA are looking strong. Well, you can see there, waiting for her turn. It is two times world champion, Simone Biles. She's had a good start here at these championships. 
Now just watch this. Phenomenal. Just, just check out the height that she gets on that. With the Anima Yuchenko, two and a half twist. And solid landing. She is an absolute power horse. Just watch this. So high, just that little hop there, but fantastic vaulting from Simone Bile. So the US team really have started well here this evening. Yeah, good job. Good job, girls. And it's a high five all round. Come on, Elm, nice and calm. And the score for Ruby Harold, 14.433. A good start for Great Britain. So next up for Great Britain on uneven bars, it's Ellie Downey. Toe on. Just misjudged the pipe catcher. She really has to focus now. Dig deep. Toe on full pirouette. And the pipe catcher. There's the shot with the half turn. Good swinging into the dismount. And a double layout to finish. What a shaky start there for Ellie Downing on bars. And you can see the disappointment. Just there, you can see. And her teammates comforting her. But then on the other side of the arena here, you have Simone Biles scoring 15.966. With a team total so far of 46.665. Putting Team USA currently in the lead. So we're on to beam now for Italy. And there's the wolf. Jump. Leap. Me there. Oh, and a fall. Switch. So now she needs a good dismount here and sticks the double pint there for Colotta Felito of Italy. Disappointing for the Italian team there. Always hard to start on beam. Just on oh, that wide pirouette there. And there's a scoring for Ellie Downey. It's 13.033. 
So on floor now from Canada, it's Elizabeth Black. She's had a great championship so far. Two and a half twist that into the double tuck. Good solid double pipe there. And Good stuff there from Elizabeth Black. So back on to uneven bars for Great Britain. And it's the second of the downies this time, Rebecca. Big release there in the pipe catcher. There's the pipe catcher. Pack down. Toe on into the shaft. Start there for Rebecca Downey. Good form there. Spots the landing. There's a score for Els Beth Black at 14.233. Coming in. And the score for Rebecca Downey, 14.833. Okay, so we're moving on now. We can see um, coming up on uneven bars, it's China. Well, over on beam, it's Japan. And the Netherlands are taking to the floor. Russia will take to the vault. So it's Victoria Komova of Russia. First up here on vault. And 
there she goes the double twisting Yuchenko just that jump back there there she goes wraps in and good landing just a small adjustment China here on uneven bars. And it's Shang Chunsong. Chef there. Tiny gymnast, but works this apparatus so well. Oh. Beautiful work here from the Chinese gymnast. And those four pirouettes there. Winding up the concentrate point. And Good in the dismount there. Good start for China on high bars from Shang Chunsong. And the scoring for Russia for Victoria Komova, it's 15.100. So back to the vault, and it's Maria Paseca. She was very impressive in qualifications. And she did it there. The animal, the full, the Yuchenko two and a half twist. stuff from her real favored vault of the US team who seem to be the specialists in this anima vault you see she wraps in there half twist and it's a score of 15.6 good score next up on vault it's Ksenia Afanaseva She did a double twisting Yuchenko in qualifications. Yep, another full t uh, double twisting Yuchenko. So the Russians have been looking quite strong here on vault. Just a small step back there. Other than that, not too many deductions. And the score for Shang Chunsong is 15.233. Oh. So back to uneven bars with China. And this time it's Fan Hila. Beautiful. 
Horowitz there winding up for the dismount and it's a double layoff and just a little adjustment there. So that's two uneven bars down for China. And we're over to Japan now on B. This is Asuka Teramoto starting with the double spin. Oh, and oh, just had to readjust there on the Onodi. Sami there. A switch of the quarter turn. And a switch into the side aerial. Split leap to split jump. just the dismount and a triple twist to finish there from Asuka Teramoto see that just the stumble on the backward handspring half turn to forward walk over A score of 15.066 for Ksenia Afanaseva. So we're moving on to floor now with the Netherlands, Ethora Thor and Dotty. Showed beautiful choreography, the gymnast from the Netherlands. You can really see the little touches in there, which make all the difference. Attitude pirouette into an illusion. interpretation to the music here. Very graceful gymnast there from the Netherlands with a beautifully performed routine on floor. And there's a score for Fan Yilan, it's 15.266.
and the score for Asuka Terramoto, 13.9. So this time it's Tan Jaixin of China. <laughs> Toan Shao. Inba Genga. <laughs> Working the bars beautifully there. It's the catch F. And winding up. Oh, and a double layout. Good job. See the beautiful swings and the body lines there. And double layout, absolutely nailed. Three. Putting China so far into third place. Well, the gymnasts are moving around for the next rotation now. Fantastic atmosphere here in the stadium in Glasgow. Russian team looking very businesslike. Just waiting on the final score there on floor. And there it is for Netherlands 13.4. Have a look at the standings so far in first place. It is, of course, the United States of America, 46.665. In second place, it's the Russian Federation. China have taken the third place and Great Britain in fourth. Canada in fifth. The Netherlands in sixth. Japan in seventh. And Italy in eighth. Lots more to come now on vault. We're going to be seeing Italy and uh, Japan. So here's the start list up for rotation two of four. On an uneven bars, it is uh, Russia with Maria Paseka, Daria Spiridonova, and Victoria Komova. Chinese gymnasts will be moving on to B. Japan will be taking to the floor. And the Netherlands are moving on to the vault. You can just see up there, it's the women's team final, and we're on rotation two of four. Thank you. 
So it's Tisha Volman of the Netherlands up first on vault. And a full twist in Yuchenko there. She's pleased with that. Confident in the run up. Is it a good push? Just a tiny little hop on the landing, but good start. She's pleased with that. So moving on to B. And it's China's fan, Yila. Round off layout there to two feet. Switch ring. <laughs> Area walk over there into the sheep jump. There's a side for me. She's really in control here right now. Side aerial there. So she's just got the dismount to go. Full concentration. And it's a two and a half twist off there. Great routine. China will be wanting a good result here, pushing really hard at these team finals. Just waiting for the score there. And the score from the Netherlands for Volleman, it's 14.1. Over on uneven bars with Russia. So it's Daria Spirandova of Russia. Sharp into the pack. Toe on Sharp with half turn. And the Pike Jaeger. Toe on full pirouette. And a good dismount there from the Russian Daria Spiridinova. Toe in there, round, full pirouette, and good on the dismount. Good start for Russia on bars. <laughs> Waiting for the beam score right there for China. Um, back over on the vault. Netherlands, it's Lisa Top. Oh, what a shame. The handspring there, won some salt with the full twist, but just out of the area. See there, straight in for the front, the full, and 
just a one foot on the red there. Just, and the hand down as well. Always more difficult with the front vaults. Goal for Fan Yilan of China, 14.4 on B. So up next, it's Wang Yan of China. Right there in the Barani. Such a difficult element to control. So this lit ring into the sheep jump. Oh, round off into the layout, two foot landing, just held on. Off on the front tuck there. Good into the aerial walk over there. Wolf jump there. So now, just the dismount. And then the triple twist, just with one step. But she's going to lose one mark there with the fall. And that could be very costly for China here this evening. What a shame. Score for Lisa Top, 13.433. Daria Spiridonova, huge score there, 15.141 for the, her uneven bars routine. So next up on uneven bars is Victoria Komova. One sharp half there. Oh, good job. 
Taiwan. Oh, and just over rotated there on oh, the full correct. Just lost that control. Just see there. So straight back up. And a step forward there on the dismount. Well, disappointing for Russia there on uneven bars. a score of 14.0 for Victoria. Come over, of Russia. And the score for Wang Yan of China, 13.3. With that fall on beam, let's see how that will affect the standings a little bit later. So we're moving on to floor, and it's Sai Miyakawa of Japan. Good start. front hook. Oh, and a step out there on the double-double. Just the uh, foot out there on the third pass. And it's a score of 14.633. Just a little heads up for uh, anyone who doesn't quite understand the Olympic qualification. Um, so obviously, all of these top eight teams have already qualified. And there will be a chance for other countries who are placed after them to go to the test event, which will be in Rio next year. So moving on to beam here and Great Britain with Claudia Fragapani, Ellie Downey and Rebecca Downey. Italy will be taken to the floor. Canada moving on to vault. There's 
First foul for Canada. There's the standings so far. In first place, it's the Russian Federation in second, China. Third, the Netherlands and fourth, Japan. So it's Sydney Townsend for Canada up first on vault. Good start for her. Back to the USA, and it's Maggie Nichols here on Uneven Bars. Really good, smooth transition between the bars. Toe on there, into the release. Winds up and double layout there. Great job for Maggie Nichols. It's great to see her here in the team finals. All the team very supportive there. Good job for the USA girls. Score for Sydney Townsend of Canada 14.433. Next up is Brittany Rogers of Canada. There she goes, the double twist in Yuchenko, good ball. You can see there the Yuchenko entry, double twist, and solid on the landing. She's happy with that. So moving over to Great Britain on beam. And it's Ellie Downey. Solid. Oh, lovely job there. Double pirouette. 
side aerial there. She's looking very solid. Composing herself now for the dismount. And a two and a half twist off. Great job for Ellie Downey of Great Britain. Been a great championship so far in qualifications for the girls. Always nice to do it on home soil. But here's the team from the USA, and as Maggie Nichols scores a 14.8. Next up from Canada, Elizabeth Black. Oh, good ball there. See the run on the handspring off. That's the back there scoring fifteen point one. Great score for her. So back over to uneven bars. Back with the USA. And it's Madison Koshin. Oh, beautiful stuff. So confident on this upraiser. Great job for Team USA there from Koshan. And the coaches are pleased. Packed full of difficulty. There's Simone. Just congratulating her teammate and the score for Ellie Downey, 14.133. So here's Rebecca Downey on Bean. Front tuck there, solid. Oh. Side area into the layout, kept on. There's the white turn. Free walk over. And the side summit there. Switch ring and now just the dismount. Double pike there. Good job, Rebecca Downey of Great Britain.
And the score for Madison Koshan, it's a great score, 15.3. And a team total of 92.098. USA looking strong here tonight in this team final. So from Italy on floor, it's Erika Fasana. Good there in the double. Double layout, absolutely nailed. Good stuff on the spin there in the double. Fight to finish. Good job. Erica Fasana there scoring 14.5. Okay. The score for Rebecca Downey 13.8. And so far, there's the standings. In first place, it's the United States, Russia in second, China in third, and Canada in fourth. GB have slipped down to fifth, the Netherlands in sixth, Japan in seventh, and Italy currently in eighth. So coming up on beam, it's Team USA. And we've got Maggie Nichols, Alexandra Reisman, and Simone Biles. On floor, it's Great Britain with Amy Tinkler, Ellie Downing, and Claudia Fragapani. Oh, moving on to vault here, it's Carlotta Felito of Italy. Oh, good start from her. So moving on to floor, it's Amy Tinkler of Great Britain. Oh, fantastic opening tumble there. Double, double. She goes again. Double straight.
one and a half twist into the two and a half twist. And the double pike to finish. Great stuff. Great routine there for Team GB from Amy Tinkler. So for Canada on uneven bars, it's Isabella on Shenko. <laughs> nice in the catch F. Down to the low bar. <laughs> Shot the half turn up to handstand. And a double tuck there. Good start on bars for Canada. And the score for Amy Tinkler, 14.433. Come on, Come on, Al. Come on Al. So we're moving on to Beam, and it's Alexandra Reisman. <laughs> Lovely there. Forward somersault. Good layout there, it's just two feet. Front tuck. This is lovely work from the US. L turn there. So come on, Ali, just the dismount now. And a double Arabian. Good job. See all the Team USA there really pulling together, working strong as a team. So good to see.
The score of 14.466 for Carlotta Felito of Italy on vault. And the score for Isabella Oshenko, 13.933. Waiting for the score there for Ali Raisman is 14.266. So up next, it's Simone Biles on beam. Oh, fantastic there. In the Cossack. Good. <laughs> Solid there on the Barani. Lay out, lay out. Oh, she's solid. One touch. Switch half. Straight in. Twisting double back there off for Simone Biles. Absolutely fantastic. Great job there from the world champion Simone Biles. Just look at that control there. Two and a half twists on that Cossack. Just such a fantastic gymnast to watch. Just makes it look effortless. Total control. Team USA looking very strong here now. Great job, girls. Then over on floor, it's Great Britain and it's Claudia Fragapani. Good start.
triple twist. Preparing herself for the last one. Double layout, straight into wolf jump. Boom, great job there for Claudia Fragapani of Great Britain. There for Claudia Fragapani on floor. What's the score for Simone Biles? It's a 15.2 for the world champion there, unsurprisingly, after such a fantastic Dean routine. So there's the standings so far. USA, Great Britain, Canada, and Italy. So moving over onto Vault, and it's Japan. So first up, it's Mei Murakami. Double twisting in Chenko. Wang Yan here of China on floor. to triple twist and punch front. Two and a half there into the pike front top. Score there of 15.066 for Mei Murakami of Japan.
moving over to Russia on speed. Front tuck for Maria Karak over here. Lick, lick, lay out there, two feet. Forward, walk over there into the sheep jump. Oh, and for, oh, she's down. That could be costly for Russia, just lack of concentration there. And she'd really packed in the difficulty beforehand. The dismount one, two, and a double pike. Disappointing for Karinkova of Russia. See them just on the spin. Score for one, uh, Wang Yan of 14.633 on floor. So up it's Sai Miyakawa of Japan. Big vault. Oh, fantastic. The handspring forward on. The half, one and a half turn off. The Rudy, big start value. You see here, big handspring on. Great stuff from Miyakawa, uh, Miyakawa of Japan. Huge height there. And the score of 15.166. Maria Karenko over there on beam scoring 13.533 having that fall so we're back on beam with victoria come over Turn there where a teammate just had the uh, difficulty. Sheep jump. Come over, it was a little bit more solid. And holding on there. Oh, well, and she's off on the Arabian. Two falls for Russia. Be very costly for the team. Oh, 
front tuck there. She's back in control. Side summy there. Into the dismount. Flick, flick. And the double back there. Well, another fall for Russia on beam. Double tuck there oh, on the dismount. That mistake earlier on on the Arabian. She tried there to hold on, but just wasn't quite enough. Back on floor with Shang Chunsong of China. Lots of twists in here. Three and a half twists into the punch run. Triple twits and punch front. So much power from such a tiny gymnast. Good spin. Two and a half twists. Pike to finish, but just stepping out of the area there. That was Shang Chunsung of China. There you can see on the double pike, the foot goes out. Score for Victoria Komova, 13.3 on beam. Not been a great evening for the Russians on that piece of apparatus.
There's the start list now for rotation four of four. Russia on floor with Maria Paseka, Seda to Kalyan and Ksenia Afanaseva. Well, China will move to vault. And the Japanese team will move on to uneven bars. And the Netherlands will go to Beep. Fantastic evening here in Glasgow. The crowd have been amazing. And the score for Shang Chunsung of 14.366. And there we have, for the moment, the women's team final standings in first place. It's the US. Uh, China have gone into second place and Russia third with Japan in fourth. Great Britain in fifth, Canada in sixth, Italy are seventh and eighth with the Netherlands. there the breakdown of the scores china with 130.931 currently in second place with just bold to go for them russian federation score of 129.773 they'll be taking to the floor So up it's Wan Yang, China. Good vault. There's Maria Paseka here of Russia. Two and a half twists into the punch, full there. One and a half twist that into another one and a half twist combination.
Double tuck. Foot out. for Wang Yan of China, 15.2. Mm. Next on vault, it's Mai Yu of China. Double twist and you check out. Goal for Mao Yi, 14.833. to Sinichenko again. Great body position there. Just landing a little bit to the side there, but within the boundaries. Good vaulting from the Chinese. They're all very happy. It's the score for Maria Paseca, 13.766. Next up for Russia, it's Sida Tukalian. Floor. Two and a half twists into the punch pike.
Double fight to finish. Good job there for Russia. Sida to Kalyan. Scoring for Tan Jixan, it's 15.2. Great score for the Chinese. It's a Super Terremoto over here from uh, Japan on uneven bars. Lovely transitions between the bars. Winding up the dismount. Full twisting double there to finish. Great stuff from Asuka Teramoto of Japan, scoring 14.225. That's the score for Seda Tukalian of Russia, 13.925. Next out on floor, it's Ksenia Afanaseva of Russia. <laughs> Double straight there, fantastic. into the triple twist and just held on there. Two and a half twist into the front straight. Double pipe to finish. Some lovely choreography in there from Gitsenia Afanaseva. And there's the rest of her team. A few wobbles today on some of the apparatus, the Russians. Okay, so I think 
Going back to floor, and this time it is Team USA with Maggie Nichols, Alexandra Reisman, and Simone Biles. GB will move on to vault. And moving on to uneven bars, it's Italy. to the beam. And the score for Ksenia Afanaseva of Russia, 14.5. She looks quite disappointed with that. There's a score for China, their total of 176.164. Currently in first place. Russian Federation in second. There's Claudia Fragapani on vault. Uh, double twist to Nuchenko there. Great start to GB. Here we go, moving on to floor. Representing the United States, it's Maggie Nichols. Double twisting, double back. For gymnast to watch, very elegant, very dynamic. Oh, lovely full in pike there. Oh, 
put back there, tug to finish. Great stuff from Maggie Nichols of the United States of America. And she looks very happy. Coaches of Leeds, great job. Score for Claudia Fragapani of 14.833 for GB. Let's hope that's not a serious injury she's got there. So next up for Great Britain, it's Amy Tinkler. Tristan great stuff there from Amy Tinkler. Good and solid for Great Britain here on vault. She's so happy. They've had such a great championships with qualifications so far. Looking good for the all-around competition as well. And you can see. Score for Maggie Nichols, it's 15.000. Great score. Back over to floor. Ali Raceman. Great stuff. And of course, the USA still have Simone Biles on floor. There's a score in for Amy Tinkler, 15.083 on vault. She'll be overjoyed with that. Here we are back on vault with Ellie Downey of Great Britain. Go on, Ellie. Full twisting Yuchenko there, fantastic. Double twisting Yuchenko, sorry. Good job for the British girls. Yeah. 
And it's sheer relief amongst the gymnasts. And nice to see there the gymnasts from other nations all congratulating each other. Good fault. That's a fantastic result for GB, you can see there. <laughs> and Ellie Downey. The two sisters there. What an amazing evening it is for them here in Glasgow. Great stuff, girls from Team GB. Gymnastics from Simone Biles. Absolutely fantastic job here for Team USA. And Simone really bringing it home there on the floor. And the girls are overjoyed. And so are the supporters who've made the trip over here to Glasgow to support the American team. shots of the girls there and also on the other side of the arena absolute joy for team gb as well well it's been an utterly fantastic evening of world championship gymnastics here in glasgow
Again, it's just gymnastics at its absolute best there from Simone Biles, showing us exactly why. She's double world champion and heading towards possibly another title in the all around here. But there you go. So strong, so dynamic, so powerful. And such great choreography suits her personality. Just perfect. Lovely to see the girls. All happy now. Job done. There's China. Oh my goodness, the score is 50.733. Well, I don't really need to say, but that puts the USA into first place and taking the gold medal here in this team finals. And what an evening it has been here. There you have it, the breakdown of the scores, 181.338 the total and all gymnastic fans over the world will be watching and enjoying this final and just some amazing gymnastics. We've had China there in second place, 176, all congratulating each other and there's the girls from Great Britain in third place, 172.380 for them. Really good to see uh, Great Britain up there. It's their first medal here in the team event for the women. And what a place to do it here in Glasgow this evening. really hope you've enjoyed this team final here in Glasgow and experience some of the atmosphere that was here in the stadium this evening because it really was electric as Team GB taking the bronze China, Great Britain have taken the bronze, the Russian Federation in fourth, Japan fifth, Canada sixth, Italy seventh, and the Netherlands eighth. And of course, all of the teams uh, above here that competed tonight have all qualified for Rio next year. So it's a kind of double celebration in a way because they've secured their place and now they can go back and focus on training in preparation for next year's Olympic Games. Good job, girls.
After two days spent on qualifications in Glasgow, we have our top eight nations who deservedly win an automatic qualification to next year's Olympic Games in Rio. There were some expected and unexpected results, which paved the way for a truly fantastic team final. Let's take a look at the top eight teams. Traditional masters of vault and parallel bars, Korea missed the world team final one year ago in Nanning, China, but didn't let this happen again. Led by their top all-around scorer, Park Minsu, they took eight place in qualifications, finishing less than half a point ahead of a disappointed Germany. In seventh place, Brazil came together for a great team performance, securing a place in their home Olympics next year. Arthur Mariano Oyakawa impressed on all apparatus, but especially on the high bar. While 2012 Olympic Rings champion Arthur Zanetti made his way to the final of his favorite apparatus with an impressive score of 15. Switzerland started their competition with an incredible performance on the parallel bars, where all their counted scores broke the 15 point barrier to end up deservedly in sixth place. Standout athlete was Pablo Breda, who contributed great scores on all apparatus and qualified for both the high bar and the all round final. With a sky high team total on the rings of 60.240, but ending the qualifications with three disastrous hit ups on the pop. USA, the 2014 team bronze medalists, entered in fifth place. Daniel Labour, in excellent play, was once again the star of the show and won five medals in the all around parallel bar and high bar finals. Team Russia got off to a great start in their first rotation, showing excellent ability and some spectacular landings on the ball. They then managed a steady performance on the parallel bars, but unfortunate mistakes on the high bar and floor left them in fourth place and hoping for a better day on team final. In third place, home crowd favourites GP got off to a shaky start in the high bar and second year, but quickly recovered, showing steady and crucial work on the common course, and the highest team total on this apparatus of any nation. This was followed by an impressive parallel bars run. GB finals were secured by Niall Wilson, Max Whitlock, Lewis Smith, and Dan Hurts. Unbeaten world champions over the last 12 years, China showed their precision and brilliant execution on the rings, with sterling performances from the current world champion Liu Yang and great work from Yu Han. The team's work on parallel bars showed superb mastery, with all gyms scoring above 15, and Yu Hao posting an incredible 15.7. Topping the leaderboard, Team Japan performed brilliantly on all apparatus, holding the highest team total score on floor, vault, and high bar. Phenomenal performer on the floor, Kento Shirai showed an incredibly difficult and well executed routine for the highest score of qualifications, 16.1. While reigning Olympic and world champ Kohei Fujimura gave the team their highest vault score with a 15.633. The Battle of the Giants starts anew. Will Japan finally succeed in winning the team title China has held for 12 consecutive years?
Presented. The Vice President of the Federation International of Gymnastics, FIG Vice President Vasily Tito. The Vice President of the Committee Technique Feminine of the Federation International of Gymnastics, FIG Women's Technical Committee Vice President Naomi Valenzo. The Responsable du Consul de la Ville de Glasgow. Leader Glasgow City Council, Councillor Frank Magaviti. Le médaillé 